Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Planet Zoo Tours and today is going to be a little bit different from the previous two because today we are going to take a look at Le Fluvial created by Citron Vert and um, yeah I know my French is really really good um, so this zoo uh, won't be a realistic city zoo or anything like that the description that the creator gave me uh, is the following so it's inspired by the river uh, La Loire in France and things you can find here are mainly the castle, forest and a farm. Um, you can find the instructions uh, down on a island on the other side and uh, this description actually tells me that I have to start on the bottom right. Um, that's exactly uh, what we will be going to do. So this zoo is mainly uh, different places all around this area in France and um, there happens to be also some animals in there um, so uh, that's nice as well yeah hopefully people will like it and just keep in mind it's not really supposed to be hyper realistic uh, and don't look at the piece count that's uh, that's also one of the comments i got um, and you can probably already see so once i opened up this zoo i was uh, already impressed and i really wanted to do a tour on uh, this project the creator also has a YouTube channel uh, in which they will cover this entire build. The videos will be in French, but there are subtitles on it, which you can change to English or whatever language you want. So that will make your life a lot easier. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the zoo. So we are in Tejet Cam right now, uh, so we will start the tour. Um, because of the piece count, I had to pause the game because otherwise uh, you won't have any smooth images at all. So uh, I decided to put it on pause and I will sometimes uh, unpause it just to see how uh, everything is going. Um, I won't be doing the entire tour in Tejet Cam. I think it might be good to uh, sometimes give an overview of the areas as well. Because I've seen some areas which uh, might be better to just uh, show off with the normal camera. Uh, but we start right here and this is the very first station. Really modern looking, a lot of glass. Some shops as well. And actually this one will lead up to a boat tour uh, along the river. It's not, there's not many boats right here. Uh, but there's another station on the other side. And there are actually quite a few areas we have to uh, cover today. I'm not going to pronounce all of them. <laughs> I know uh, the, the beginning of the video was already a struggle. So uh, yeah. Um, I really love this building. I really like it. Um... Actually, quite a good inspiration for the uh, Zeusli that we're working on. It's really modern. It's uh, a lot of glass and that's what we like. White plaster. And I think these are like the metal pieces. Let's take a look. Yeah, the corrugated sheets. That looks cool. I never thought about using it like this. These are recolorable. That makes them more diverse that's good and right next to the station we have some nature some places for the people to uh, sit down have their lunch have a picnic and the uh, the amount of foliage that is around here is uh, is just amazing you can see some nice statues really a lot of attention to the uh, to the details and that's why the peace count is also very high are these custom made? Yes, they are. These must have been a struggle to make. But I really like them. I really like them. That's cool. Again, recolorable pieces. Really nice. Might be good to uh, put them on the workshop. I think a lot of people will like it. Okay, we're gonna take... Uh continue the tour along this side so uh, right here i will uh, quickly give you guys an overview of this area as well in case i'm forgetting anything so you can see we will have the uh, the wonderful foliage really realistic looking and um, so uh, yeah not completely true that not everything is hyper realistic i really love the foliage we have a uh, staff building on the back let's go inside for a second so we uh, we have the staff facilities here as well Especially for the vendors inside the uh, the station over here, and let's get back into uh, Tejet Cam and continue this tour. 
So we will go right down this path. I'm sorry, I will go a little bit faster. And we have some education here. About the wolves. So I'm afraid we might see some wild wolves while we are running down this path. And you can see why it's not really a, uh, a zoo. Uh, because yeah, it's, it's full of nature. Basically, you feel like you're walking down in a, uh, in a park. And another education stand. But this time it's for the grizzly bears, I think. Let's see if, uh, if there are actually some animals in here. Again, a lot of foliage. Oh, see, there's are actually wolves in here. I'm gonna unpause the game for now. There are a lot of them. You can see that, and I think I hear something behind me. Yeah, there's also a bear. Really cool. It really feels like you're uh, walking in uh, like a nature reserve or something like that. So some wild animals instead of uh, a zoo. You don't see any fencing. Nothing at all. But yeah, we do see have a lot of animals in here. So let's continue on. So that's why we had the education right here. I'm not sure if the animals are not able to escape though. But yeah, we will uh, we will see. I, um, I switched off all the messages. So we won't be bothered by any red pop-ups or anything. I'm going to pause the game again because you can see that the frames are uh, dropping quite drastically. We have a, uh, a gate here, so this will be the uh, the habitat entrance. And I think they made it impossible for the animals to escape just using the foliage and using the transversible area. I think that's a great way to, uh, to do that and uh, really makes it look natural. Um, let's uh, yeah, let's continue on to the left side to uh, to Ferme. And let's see what we have here. I do see some fencing, some custom stuff over here. I really like this. Really like this. Something you would actually see in France, I think. Oh, we are actually at the... Uh, I think we arrived at the farm itself. So we will have a lot of animals here. But I can't really see them from the Tetchet Cam. So I'm gonna close the Tetchet Cam and give you guys an overview. So this is the area we just arrived at. And as you can see, this is why I didn't want to do everything in Tetchet Cam. Otherwise, you won't be able to see this wonderful area. As I think you should see it. So we have a main building right in the middle of it. We have a beautiful well on this as well. As well. Really nice. And yeah, I have to admit this really looks like you're uh, right in the middle of France. Like the, the fencing, the foliage around it. Uh, we have some nice trees over there. It, it's really amazing. Really amazing place. And yeah. Also, uh, one of the reasons why we have some uh, frame dropping, there are a lot of animals in there. Um, we will um, we will unpause it for now. As you can see, they are uh, running around and uh, making my computer scream. So I'm going to pause it again. Let's see. The, uh, the, the fencing is used all around the place. And this is what actually makes it look natural. And uh, I'm kind of getting a Lord of the Rings vibe out of it. I don't know why. But it just happened. And, and and I do enjoy that. I really enjoy that. So we have the bisons on this side. We have uh, some doll sheep. So instead of a normal sheep, we will, they will use the, uh, the doll sheep. Some, uh, some cows on this side. And some deer. So a lot of animals. Some warthogs. And another... Uh, it is uh, the sable antelope. Really cool. Some zebras in here as well. Really, really well done. Really well done. What I like is like these little... Uh, how do you call them? Like orchards, I think. The uh, With the foliage. Looks like some uh, some farming is going on right here. Really, really nice. And some... I, did, I think I did see some uh, cornfields as well on this side. Right there. 
It's elephant grass, but you have to imagine that it's like uh, something like corn uh, or something like that. Okay, so we are back in Tejit Camp, and I just wanted to walk around this area a little bit further. So uh, the staff building, right in the center of it, we will have a lot of staff taking care of all the uh, of all the animals. And in the meantime, I also uh, made sure the sensitivity of my mouse and everything is also down, which makes it more uh, pleasant for you guys to watch. As uh, as I might know by now, so we have the um, the well on this side. Really nice little detail, and we will continue on the tour along this way. I think we might get lost. Okay, so this is the way I wanted to go. Um, there is another building on this side, and I already found it. It's a really beautiful greenhouse and the greenhouse also contains some animals there will be some uh, bongos I think and okapi and the uh, I think this is a niala right yes so uh, some 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 animals in here as well oh you can see them already I'm gonna unpause it for now I think my uh, computer can handle this part not really. Anyway, the um, the foliage in here. So we have some watermelon plants. Really nicely done. Some uh, some other stuff on the right, and some other plants on the left as well. You can see it's just a uh, a really nice and simple greenhouse, but also contains a few animals. We have some pineapples and some banana trees. Some nice flowers. And let's take a look at the other side as well. So we have some tomatoes growing over here. And the same uh, planters as on the uh, the other side. So we have some pineapples and some watermelons. I really like this. It's really a uh, really creative idea to, uh, to create these plants like this. So yeah, the building itself, as you would expect it, a greenhouse, a lot of glass, some metal pieces. And uh, yeah, basically that is it. It's right in the right in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the area we were just at, and the greenhouse is right over there. So there's a quite a bit of distance in between all these buildings, and that's what making this project looking beautiful. So we have a lot of foliage. I don't even want to know how many trees are in this uh, this entire build, but I can only imagine that it's uh, it's quite a lot. You can see you can just walk around the uh, the entire area and uh, yeah just have a beautiful view and a beautiful walk it doesn't really feel like a zoo at all but uh, this is just to show you guys what you can do with this game and let's get back into Tejit Camp. so back in Tejit Camp, we will continue the tour along this way so the farm will be on the right and we are already walking towards the very first building uh, which has the same style as the main castle and the main castle you could already see it in the beginning of the video but these buildings are really really impressive and there are actually animals in here as well so this is a, a lemur house so we have the red ruffed lemur and the ring tailed lemur in here and there's a lot of space for them and uh, the animals yeah not a lot of climbing stuff or anything that would have been uh, nice for these animals but i think they are able to get out and walk along the sides of the of the building so that's why we have all the climbing stuff so the animals can get out and you will have a perfect view on the animals while you're walking around this building and i'm just gonna continue this way just to give you guys another look on how big this building is it's really, really huge. So it's a double tower. And uh, yeah, it's it's nothing compared to the main castle yet. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice building. Some really nice uh, details on the top of it. And for now, we are going to continue the tour uh, along this way. Let's see. So um, yeah, again... A lot of foliage, the river on this side. 
it's like you're on holiday in France. And this is probably the main attraction. So this will be the main castle. And uh, there are habitats all around it. So that's why I really want to give you guys an overview uh, after a little tour around this building. So we have the hippos on this side. And you can see they have a lot of space. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a huge project. You can see there is a... An, or maybe this is the main castle. I, I'm not sure anymore. So this is still the hippo habitat. And uh, as you can see, it's, it's huge. It really is huge. It's, uh, it's a beautiful area. I mean, just take a look at this building. It's um, the, the details on this are amazing. The um, the windows on top, just uh, the overall look of the building. I really, really I like it. I will try to get to the uh, to the other side of the building for now. Let's see if we have some uh, indoor stuff to show off as well. I did read in the description of the uh, Steam Workshop there is a link down in the description, of course, towards this project. So you can take a look at it yourself. Uh, but once we have open doors, this means there will be some interior to show. So if we see some open doors, we can uh, we can show it off. But I don't think there is some interior in this building. Or is there? Oh, there actually is. Okay, so that's why we uh, we wanted to go inside this building. So. The other side of the building, actually the side, this is a quite a stretched building. I think on the other side there's still the uh, hippo habitat or is this something else? It's a spotlight. It's a wild spotlight. But yeah, for now let's uh, just uh, go inside this building and take a look at it. I know this tour is a little, uh, yeah, a bit less structured than usual because uh, also the layout is a bit confusing for me. Um, but I do think it's... Uh, it's definitely worth showing off so we have some exhibits some uh, snakes on this side and while you are uh, in this exhibit building you also have a view on the hippos with the building on the back I think you really have some nice cinematic views in this uh, in this project some more exhibit buildings some exhibit animals and we actually have crocodiles on this side. So that's why uh, I was not able to find any hippos. Yeah, we have some crocodiles on this side. This is well done, by the way, with the foliage. The ivy patch. Why didn't I think of it? It really looks like some algae or something like that. Nice little habitat. Well, not little habitat. It's a huge habitat for these animals. But I think um, it's really well done with like the vibe that you're getting. It's like a, a really like a castle with like huge gardens around it, and uh, basically they transform the gardens to a habitat, and even with hippos and and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, even more exhibits. We have some shops, some drinks, some food, some hats. You can buy everything here. Beautiful. Well done. Well done. And again, just to quickly give you guys an overview of the area we just visited. So this is the main tower with the lemur habitat. And this will be the hippo habitat. And this will be the crocodile habitat on the other side. And this is the, uh, the main building that we just visited. I think uh, it's really better to show it off like this sometimes in um, in projects like this. So let's continue on along this way. And it already looks like a church, but let's get back into Tejet Cam first. So next stop is this part of the zoo. And uh, yeah, you already seen it in the overview, but this is amazing. This is really well done. Oh, and I already see some interior work on it as well. This is next level, guys. This really is next level. Let's check the uh, the pieces out as well. So we have um, some little details in here. It's quite clever. It's quite clever. They uh, they used it all around the building. All the flowers in here as well, I guess. Indian, yeah, that's part of the Indian stuff in the game. 
and it really covers it it really covers it a really nice church right in the middle of the uh, yeah in the french countryside i would like to call it the doors are just perfect for this kind of building and i really want to go inside as well this is well done you can see the benches they really fit the arctic style benches they really fit into an area like this this would have been the, the perfect uh, way to have like custom billboards so you can get some classic paintings in here. But yeah, who knows? Who knows? We might get that uh, later on. But for now, we don't have it in the game. So that's why we transformed it into habitats. This is really nice. So we have some anteaters right in the middle of the church. And uh, we have some Bayet's tape here. Over here as well. <laughs> really well done. So on one side, we have this like realistic church going on. And then on the other side, we uh, we have some anteaters and some tapir walking around. And uh, yeah, that's the uh, the nice combination of Planet Zoo and the French countryside, I would say. Let's uh, let's take another look on the, on this side. So the um, so we have some shops in here as well, and uh, some nice paintings, some really nice details. You can visit the bathroom if you want, right there. And uh, yeah, as I already told you, just the views you get. When you exit a building like this, it's uh, it's really amazing. Let's check on this side as well. So we have some uh, outdoor stuff, some nice garden, and yeah, I I now know why the peace count. Uh, yeah, I was not really supposed to tell you anything, but only like a wall like this is 1,800 pieces. So I can only imagine that a building like this is probably around 10, 15,000 pieces, maybe even more. It's uh, it's uh, it's quite a lot. If you're gonna place buildings like this in your zoo, you won't be able to get a proper frame rate after two or three buildings anymore. But that's not what this project was about. It's just to create something nice and something beautiful. And that's definitely what they did with this. So on the other side of the building, we have a really nice classical looking building, uh, which is actually a um, another boat station. So you will be able to ride the boat as well. I'm not gonna do that in the, in this episode. The um, I think the frame rate it will be really good if I'm uh, showing it up like that. I might be doing it, uh, yeah, next time. If you want me to do a tours like this, so we have a uh, we had a safari tour, I think, uh, or something like that in the previous episode. I didn't show it off as well. Uh, but if you want me to do it, uh, let me know down in the comments uh, for the next one, or if you have any other feedback on. The, these kind of tools, I'm uh, I'm happy to hear them and try to implement that in the uh, in the next episode. We are classical and modern at the same time, so we have the bricks, uh, but also like the really modern flooring in here. Uh, some shops. Um, you won't be dying of hunger in this uh, in this. Yeah, shall I call it the zoo? I'm just gonna call it the zoo. So um, perfectly done. Really nice. And this happens to me all the time. I ended up on the roof of this building. Don't ask me how, but just to give you guys another uh, cinematic shot of how this zoo is looking. And now I have to try to get off this thing again. So uh, yeah, give me a moment. So I managed to get off the building and I walk towards the next part of the zoo. The Chateau Fort. I, I know my French is perfect. So this is another huge building. Which looks like a fortress to me and you can also enter it and there will be some habitats inside as well. But as you can see, like all around the fortress, there are animals. So we have cheetahs on this side. And let me check. We have some tigers on this side. I'm just going to walk around this, uh, this thing. I'm sorry if the speed is a little bit high because this building is just huge. Um, yeah, still the tiger habitat over here. Some nice water areas. And just to show you, this uh, this building is really, really huge. Later on, I will give you another overview, of course, of this uh, of this building. And let's continue along this side. What do we have here? We have some jaguars. Let's check if we can find them. Let's see, let's see. No, I can't find them. Why can't I find them? Oh, there they are. We have some jaguars over there. 
You can see in comparison to this building, these animals look really, really small. And then you won't be able to find them anymore. So we have some snow leopards. You can see all the staff buildings are probably like inside the walls. So they will be able to, uh, to enter these habitats. And it's just a huge area, as you can see. That's uh, that's cool thing about like Planet Zoo. The maps are huge and you can do crazy things with it. So the lions on this side. A lot of them, actually. This uh, creator uh, did like to um, like completely fill up the, the habitats with the animals. So you will be able to see them. Uh, realistically looking, of course, this won't be uh, this won't be a thing. But that's not what we uh, we are going for, or what they were going for, of course. And uh, we have some entrance. We have a entrance on the other side. So let's uh, continue along this path towards the building itself. And yeah, as I expected, this uh, this looks like a fortress. So we have a wall around it. And then we have some nice habitats inside. We have the giant panda on the left. Really well done. Really nice foliage. We have some beautiful buildings on the back as well. So we are going to check those out. We have a red panda on this side. With a nice shelter space, I guess. Yeah, it looks like it. So we have the shelter space for the animals with some climbing structures in there as well. As you can see, they will be able to enter it and to yeah, get out of this building as well. I really like the details with the wood. These are the uh, the new South uh, South America pieces, I think. These are uh, recolorable, so you can do whatever you want. We have a baby red panda as well. So that would uh, really complete this zoo, I think. Another yeah, building that looks like a church to me. A costume door, which is uh, again huge. Let's check the inside. So this is uh, the place where all the staff buildings are. The um, it, it has to be done as well. A really nice way to cover up these things, so you won't be able to see them from the outside. And we will continue along this side. So we are not a part of the giant panda habitat. I, it looks like this is like a. a panda area or something like that this is still the giant panda habitat it's a giant habitat for the giant pandas that's basically what the, what this looks like so let's exit digit camp for a second and let's take a look at the building itself so yeah this uh, this entire fortress there's actually a path going through but I'm not sure how to get to that path. Okay, there's a stair down this side and then you can walk around the fortress. You won't be able to see much, I think. You can only see um, a lot of walls. Uh, but then again, it's uh, the inside, I really like it. It's really well done. It's like the church, like building it. Yeah, it's, it's cool. The shelter space. It's a really huge habitat for these animals. So that's perfect for them. They have a lot of space to walk around. And then we have the uh, all the habitats around this uh, around this building. And now the moment we have all been waiting for. So this will be the main castle and uh, as you can see it's beautiful. What else can I say? I mean this is incredibly well done and probably one of the main reasons I wanted to show off this uh, this project on the channel um I, I've never seen this project before and I, I didn't see it on a workshop, but it's amazing and uh, yeah, just only for this building. Uh, yeah, not only for this building, of course, but yeah, just make sure you uh, download it from the Steam Workshop and, uh, and give it a thumbs up because this is just amazing. This is uh, incredibly well done. So let's uh, walk towards the building. And let's see what we can find over there. So we have some nice gardens, some water areas, probably some uh, fountains if I unpause the game, as you can see. But yeah, as you can also see, the uh, my computer doesn't like it when I do it like this. But yeah, let's just uh, quickly look around this area. So we have some uh, some buildings on the back over there as well. I didn't see them yet, 
And uh, as mentioned, some open doors. So this means we have some interior work to look at. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna pause the game again. So let's see. Beautiful details on the inside. Some stairs over here. Oh, this must have been a horrible job to make. But it's a really well done. I can just feel the pain of making something like this work. Uh, I know uh, I skipped some of the, uh, the habitats. We will get back to that. I just wanted to <laughs> walk along these stairs. And uh, let's take a look at the animals. So there will be a habitat inside. But yeah, that's probably not what this... Uh, this build is about uh, this is just an amazing detail the roof is really well done again the uh, the same pieces I guess let me check the bamboo wall painted why didn't I think of that I don't know these people are just way more <laughs> creative than I am I think the uh, so we have some Indian elephants and some rhinos in there one of the towers with some exhibit animals just to make sure that the people will actually enter the building and uh, will walk around. I think these doors are custom as well. Yeah, they are. Classic roof trim. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just speechless in uh, when I'm entering a building like this. The view is amazing. So the same thing on the other side with the elephants. A perfect view on the animals and on the uh, entire area, as you can see. Right now you can also see the uh, the amount of detail that is in the building like this. I'm just going to show you guys off, like classic roof trim, wood, but I didn't even know we had pieces like this. All the small details on here as well. It's just an enormous, it's a, it, yeah, it's just a huge building. So we will be going downstairs again along this way because I know I skipped this and I don't want to skip anything. So again, this uh, will be a viewing spot to see the, uh, the elephants and the rhinos which are walking around in this castle. And as you can see, I know this door is closed. It's uh, a perfect fit for this uh, this kind of project but as you can see these are uh, like the staff pathing so uh, the staff can reach everything and it still looks nice from the outside so we have a beautiful uh, viewing area here as well and this will be the entrance towards the habitat and I think these animals must be really really happy with a huge habitat like this with a beautiful building around it as well it's uh, it's really amazing really 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 well done so we are back outside and what I wanted to show you guys is another part of this castle and there is actually an entire garden here as well with the uh, I guess with some animals um, I'm just guessing some peafowls yes of course this would be the uh, perfect place for them to uh, walk around and uh, yeah some really nice details over here as well some uh, some place to sit down I guess for the animals in this case but uh, I will like uh, give you a overview in a second because this is really hard to cover in uh, in Tejet Camp but another building over here and I really want to take a look at this what's going on here this is another station for the uh, for the boat ride so it's along the river as you can see and this, uh, yeah, would be actually a thing, I think, when you have a castle like this. There will be a main building, like a smaller building on the side for uh, probably guests or something like that. What I do like is it, it gives me a modern vibe somehow with, uh, with all the glass going on here. But then again, it's a, it's a classical building and I'm seeing pieces I've never seen before. Like uh, this little clock over there. I've never seen that. Don't ask me why, but uh, I have to take a look at the at all the pieces uh, after this. And yeah, this will be the building that we were just walking around. And uh, it's because it's that big, it's really hard to cover in uh, in Tejit's camp. So this um, will be the main building, as you can see, extremely well done. 
a lot of windows, a lot of rooms. Again, I don't even want to know the piece count. I didn't see this yet, but this will be the uh, shelter space for the animals. Really creative way to use it like that. And just this, this centerpiece. It's, uh, it's just extremely well done. I know I've said this uh, 200 times now, but it's, it's just a fact. It's just a fact. So this is the garden, and this is why I wanted to show you like the, 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 the garden with an overview. Because there's a lot of details in here as well. Some really nice shapes. Some nice symmetry going on in here as well. Uh, beautiful foliage and just really well done. Again, this would be a, a piece I would put on the workshop. Just as a separate thing because people can download it. And uh, use it in the zoo. Or they can just uh, download this zoo of course from the workshop. And then uh, put it in their own zoo. But there's one th final thing we want to show uh, before we are going to end this a video and that will be this building right there so let's switch to Tajit cam so again a beautiful classical building and um, yeah that's also one of the reasons why I uh, did the main castle almost at the end of the video otherwise this would have looked uh, a little bit like less impressive so I'm sorry um, yeah I didn't build up uh, to like the, the final moment perfectly but it, then again this this building is still really impressive and a really huge thing um, and extremely well done. Uh, I, I really like that it has like different styles all over the zoo. We have a really, really old fortress going on in, in the zoo. And then the, just the, the style of building is completely different all around the zoo. And uh, I think this will beat any piece count I've seen so far. It doesn't even show me. Probably better. These are all limestone trims. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's a lot of limestone trims in one building. So yeah, let's take a look inside. So we have some open doors, which means we are welcome to go inside. And we have some Chinese pangolins indoors on, uh, on this side. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen this. Probably wants me to. Uh... Cool. Why didn't I think of this? <laughs> this is amazing. This is well done. How did they make this? How did they do this? Oh, it's all the different lights. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Details like this. People can come up with this kind of stuff. It's uh, amazingly well done. With the same thing on the other side for the uh, artwork. And I'm gonna switch the time back to, uh, to daylight. And uh, it might be a good thing. I didn't do that before. But I will show off the entire project at night as well. Um, after this. So we have the gardens over here. A lot of gold. A lot of uh, metal pieces. And we have some camels. I think this is a perfect fit. With these... Like arches with all the gold. These are the perfect animals to put in here. Oh, I like the shelter space. I like that a lot. It's a little bit open, so they won't be covered from uh, any rain. But I do think the, uh, the camels don't even need any shelter space in the game. So that's uh, that's good. And we have the gems box on the other side. Of course, these animals fit together perfectly. And let's continue along this path. And uh, let's see what we will find on the other side. On the left we have some uh, hyenas. A really uh, simple a little habitat. And on the other side we have some animals as well. The um, African wild dogs on this side. But let's take a look at this, uh, this fencing. I think I know which piece this is. This is like the New World Sign Support. Yeah. This is um, a piece yeah, you can just use as a custom fencing uh, perfectly. And that's what they did right here. And let's take a look at this building as well. Another indoor area. So for the hyenas and probably for the wild dogs on the other side. Uh, not a lot of detail inside this building. But this again probably like the guest building if you look at the... Uh, at the main castle and then on the back you will have the uh, separate building but then again the details on the outside are amazing 
and uh, probably with the uh, with a really high piece count get a look at the overview of this building as well so again something you can't really show off in Tejit Camp we have a beautiful garden in front of the building and also on the left of the building a really nice place to walk around for the guests and um, yeah get some uh, French sunlight <laughs> and uh, some fresh air as well and then we have the uh, the camel habitat and the gems book habitat with the uh, nice little building on the back and there is one other thing i wanted to show you let's switch to uh, nighttime and take a look at the lighting for this project and of course the main castle is uh, really really well lit a lot of uh, small lights indoors as well it really looks like uh, yeah people are living here which is really cool uh, along the pathing, not a lot of lights, of course. So this will be the uh, the countryside, and just uh, yeah, the main things are uh, yeah, just well lit. Some nice details on this. With the church, you will actually see some lighting like that in real life as well. So yeah, that will be it for this Planet Zoo tours. I must say, I really enjoyed this one. It's uh, it's not the, the, the most common thing we would see. It is not a realistic zoo or anything like that. But nevertheless, really worth showing off on the channel. I really enjoyed it. And just this just shows the creativity you guys have. And uh, the things you can do with this game. So yeah, just really well done. A big thank you to the creator for submitting this uh, to the channel. And if you want me to show off your zoo, there is a link down in the description to a Google form, which you can use to submit your zoo for a Planet Zoo Tours. And for now, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you uh, hit the like button and uh, make also make sure you download this zoo from the workshop and give it a like over there as well. And uh, if you didn't do it already, make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, so you won't miss out on any new content. And I will speak to you guys in the next one. Goodbye.